Hello everyone, welcome again. In this video, we are going to see the demo of a student management project and uh, let's talk about the tools and technology that we are using into this project. So it's using JSP, uh, it's using JSP servlet, okay, and common HTML CSS, common languages like uh, common uh, technologies like HTML and CSS, Bootstrap uh, to deploy the application, it's using Tomcat server and as a build tool or you can say that as a id we are using eclipse okay to maintain the back end of the application that store the database information it's using mysql right so it's eclipse uh, mysql server so, yeah we are using these many technologies these are the technologies so for the front end it's using jsp html css and bootstrap and to manage the server side requests it's using servlet tomcat to deploy the application eclipse as id tool and mysql as a uh, mysql as a database so apart from that it's following mbc architecture and it's some have an application so you can see the pom.xml is there where we are adding different versions of dependencies uh, we have a bean package controllers exceptions model utilities as you know as it's using uh, MBC architecture so we have a different uh, uh, categories for uh, model and controllers apart from that to handle the front-end things we have a web app folder here that contains the CSS image JavaScript, JavaScript but it's using uh, JavaScript uh, bootstrap libraries under this and uh, we have uh, some some additional um, JavaScript libraries if required according to the design, but it's using only for the front end, not for the back end. Uh, JSPs are there, JSP files are there, and uh, the JSP files contain internal code of HTML only. So, HTML and CSS to render the data, it's using JSP logics over there. <coughs> uh, apart from that, yeah, that's it about the project and file structure that we are using. We have a common resource configuration file that's contain the configuration detail about the application. Okay, now let me run the application over the browser and see one by one how it's working. So, to in order to run the application, uh, I will show you the step in a while. But before that, let's discuss about the database that we are using. How many tables are there into database? So this is my MySQL workbench and here you can see this database name is student info. This is the database of this project and here we have a data of these are the tables under this database. We have attendance, fee, smart seat, role, subject and user table. So let's say I want to view the data of any table. In my case, I'm using, I'm selecting the data for the user. I want to see the user information, login ID and password and other detail of the user. What different roles are there in this project. So what I can do, I just right click on the on the table, select the first option. I'm able to see the database here. Okay, the data of this database. So I can use this, these, these data according to my requirement. So now, if you need the source code, uh, you can just watch the complete demo first and then you can connect to the Codewin support. The support team is there. They will guide you. Uh, the support team is there. They will guide you to buy this application and next step, uh, we are providing remote configuration means we will do the complete setup at your machine and it will be, um, you will get this uh, application in this state and after that you need to follow this demo. So you have seen the database thing and you have seen the ID. Now let's run the application. So after this, what you have to do, just right click on the root folder of the application, go to run as, run on server, select a server, click next, click finish. When you do this, the server will start, then application will be launched over your Chrome browser. So this is your home page, over you can say the launching page. And when you go over to the home, uh, when you click on the home you will get this image and the background uh, background image and text over there we have a header and login option so into the login we have a different types of user if you notice the database here we have a role id one two three one always will be for the admin three will be teacher two will be student and you don't need to do anything like when you operate the application from the front end you just need to uh, get the uh, admin id and password from here from the database and after that we can operate the complete application from this uh, ui okay so i'm going to enter the username for the admin and the password for the admin 
right s123 even i guess yeah so i'm able to log in here i can see different options here for the admin admin have access to add the subject at attendance user and fees here into the detail section i can see the detail of the student detail attendance detail subject detail result and fee detail my account is there under my account we have a my profile and change password so let's explore one by one all the features first thing let's say as an admin i want to add a new subject so let's how can i do that let's say new subject right i'm just adding dummy data you can add the meaningful data if required so i just save it I just save this and when I go to the subject detail I can see the new subject is added here and here we have some other features also on this landing page we have an edit option let's say I want to edit the name of this new subject to new description right new description subject something like that so I click on the save the data is successfully updated if I can go to subject detail I can see the updated data right and let's say i want to delete any data so how, how can i delete it i can just click on this delete uh, i can check this option click on delete i'm able to delete the record because i can see the message data deleted successfully now we have a search option also so enter subject name here to search the application so let's say i want to sub search any specific application any application subject and i click on the search i can see the filtered data let's say i want to get the all the list away over there so i can again click on the search i can i'm able to see the complete data over there so this data is completely coming from your database only okay so if you if you are making any changes here this things will be reflected in your tables as well here so that's it for the uh, subject side and let's do uh, explorer user module first then create will create attendance so a user means you can add a new student or new user you can uh, as a as an admin you have access to add a new admin as a new faculty or a student so let's say i want to add a new faculty right so i'm filling some dummy data over here and you can add the meaningful data while you're using so i'm creating a record for a faculty or a teacher so scene at the rate okay is, is scene is my first name that is the last name and to create a login id so while you're entering the data make sure you are entering a valid data so let's say this is a login id so i'm just adding uh, my account like at the rate gmail.com at the end we are adding characters here we are getting a string here not a, any um, numeric value okay so it's using all kind of validation so you have to take care of it like we are adding the meaningful data so let's say this is a phone number field i can't add uh enter the text here i have to enter 10 digit valid phone number so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten select the gender date of birth that's us and here we have an email address that's fine country state city address one and address two all this detail we have to fill for that uh, faculty as an admin then we can click on the save button and we are able to see data is successfully saved once you added the user successfully then you can go to the detail section and into the detail we can see the teacher detail when you click on this teacher detail you will be able to see that record again you can perform some operations with this teacher data we can click on the edit and we can click on we can let's say i want to update the name so i added some extra text into my name and i can click on the save and make sure while you editing you are entering the correct password again so i have to check the password into the database if i didn't remember so i'm just refreshing my database i have this password for this user so i'm adding this and adding this not every time when you perform the edit operation you need to enter the password but this is the user data right that's why we are entering the password and we have faculty and all the details are added click on the save now it's updated successfully if i go to the uh, teacher detail section i can see the extra text is added over there if i want to delete any record i can click on the checkbox okay i can click on this checkbox i can click on the delete option it says data is deleted let's say i want to search any teacher by name 
so I can fill it here and I can search it so let's say I want to search it by name here or email ID we can test so for the email ID and just enter make sure you remove all the spaces click on search it will filter the data okay hopefully the name should be also work uh, okay now found so we have to enter the first name I guess so just enter the first name it will work with the first name so that's all about this teacher section similarly we have a student section so as an admin i can add a student so i can go to uh, i'm filling some dummy data here and from the user role i can select a student i select a student and let's say convert this data into a meaningful data so i just adding at the gmail.com password is added and auto filler phone number 10 digit valid phone number and yeah that's it so in this way we are adding a new student now where you can see this newly added student you will be see into the student section okay here again we have edit option delete option and search option for the student as well now if i want to add an admin how can i do that similarly i can go to the add user i can select a role as an admin and i can fill the data this will be add a new admin but admin detail will not be displayed to the detail section you have to get this information from the database because it's the root, root this is the root user and it should be secure next thing uh, we have attendance so let's say recently we have added one student okay so select some subject so we have added dummy subject over there and let's select this student that we recently added i guess this one i'm not sure this one or this one so we can we are selecting this one date uh, let's say today's date uh, for the attendance lecture title i can see dummy data select the status present or absent so i select present so this user i'm filling the attendance for this user i click on the save attendance save is saved now if i go to go to the attendance detail page i can see the options here similarly i'm doing the edit operation delete operation for other uh, pages i can do for the attendance list as well i can edit the record and i can update let's say a present to absent so now this user will be um, absent okay you can see the status is updated now similarly i can delete it let's say i want to delete that attendance i can delete by this way i can search it by a student name so let's say i want to search a uh, attendance for error with power so i can search it here i can search it okay next thing we have a uh, attendance subject is done attendance is done user is done the last module we have a fee for the admin so under the fee section what we can do we can select uh, any person or any student and fill their fees so let's say i want to fee the pay the fee of may month amount let's say 5000 for this month and total fees is let's say 5500 and paid fee let's say they are paying 2500 and the balance will be 2000 okay date we can select today's date and we can save it so fees detail is saved successfully now admin can check the fees detail into the fees detail section here from the detail section you can go to the fees detail you can check the detail of this thing we can perform all the crude operation here as well we can edit we can delete we can search okay apart from that we have a my profile section where admin can check his own profile and can update the data according to the requirement and we can we have a change password option from where we can change the password okay but make sure while you entering the password it should be a valid password while you entering the data so let's say uh, we can update it and let's say i want to update the data of, of this user uh, password of this user so this is the admin so this is my current password means old password and let's say i want to add a new password as a demo at the rate one two three and again demo at the rate one two three i can click on save now password is saved successfully now if i refresh my database it will be updated now if i want to log in with the same user it will show me an invalid login id and the password so i have to enter the correct password here so demo of the rate one two three i guess and i click the sign in and now it's logged in so in this way you can update the password 
so this are the features and functionality we have for the admin user but we have other user as well so models will be same just access will be different so this is the teacher user and let's log in with this so i just going to log in with this teacher user and here what are the operations teacher can perform teacher can perform add, add subject teacher can perform add attendance you can add the attendance and add mark sheet so we have a new feature for the teacher like add subject and add attendance are common that admin can also perform but for the teacher we have a add mark sheet here as a new operation so teacher can add the mark sheet for the students so go to the uh, add mark sheet section from here admin section administration section select the uh, student name enter the role number so let's say i'm going to enter a unique role number and marks for the subject these are the dummy subject these are not dynamic subject and let's say i want to give it a 60 and let's say 80 let's say all should be 90 you can enter anything i'm just entering a good numbers click on save and did i save successfully now i can go here and check the result details into the result details i can check this data here okay and so add mark sheet and view the data result also uh, this teacher can check the attendance details subject details uh, result details and detail of the student other students my profile to update the profile data change password and log out now let's log in as a student and see what a student can do so recently we have added some student and with role id 2 so let's say this is the student I want to add. No, we have added Marcit for uh, this new student, right? So we can let's log in with this student. Okay, need to enter the correct password here. So I can go to the get mark sheet and check the mark sheet. Apart from that, I can check the subject details, attendance details, fee details. Okay. And let's say I have to check this is a correct user or not for the mark sheet. So I can go to the mark sheet section and I can check the user. The username is uh, corner, corner, corner. So I can go to the my profile, verify the name. Yeah, it's correct user. Then we can get the mark sheet of this user, uh, this student. Uh, can get the mark sheet so you need to remember the role number and if you didn't remember go to the mark sheet table select the first option or uh, get the data and you will get the role number here you can enter that role number click on the go and you can see our mark sheet pattern pdf uh, text over there okay so yeah that's it about the student management system this is the academic project and recommended for the uh, final year student who want to put and someone as a fresher preparing for a uh, like learning development and do want to practice for a real time projects so in the when you go to the organization you will work on a similar kind of patterns uh, like we are using mbc model over there it's following maven and all the advanced tools it's just running over the local machine okay so this is the uh, this is the basic thing and this is the paid project so if you are going to connect with a uh, code one just make sure uh, you have to pay some minimum charges it's not a very high charges for the student but uh, it's really required because we have to do developments and manage the team thank you so much for watching if you like the video please subscribe code one and for more techie videos related to the automation and java development you can connect it with us thank you